If you don't have a goal, if you don't have a vision, you'll just drift around. And you're not going to be happy. For me life is continuously being hungry. The meaning of life is not simply to exist, to survive, but to move ahead, to go up, to achieve, to conquer. Winners fail and get up, fail and get up, fail and get up, you always get up. That is a winner. Be hungry for success, hungry to make your mark, hungry to be seen and to be heard and to have an effect. And as you move up and become successful, make sure also to be hungry for helping others. The worst thing I can be is the same as everybody else. If you don't find the time, if you don't do the work, you don't get the results. The resistance that you fight physically in the gym and the resistance that you fight in life can only build a strong character. What is the point of being on this earth if you are going to be like everyone else? There are no shortcuts, everything is reps, reps, reps. Work your ass off. There is no magic pill. The mind is the limit. As long as the mind can envision the fact that you can do something, you can do it, as long as you really believe 100%. Positive thinking can be contagious. Being surrounded by winners helps you develop into a winner. If you don't have a vision of where you are going, if you don't have a goal for where to go, you'll drift around and never end up anywhere. The last three or four reps is what makes the muscle grow. This area of pain divides the champion from someone else who is not a champion. That's what most people lack, having the guts to go on and just say they'll go through the pain no matter what happens. If you want to turn a vision into reality, you have to give 100% and never stop believing in your dream. Strength does not come from winning. Your struggles develop your strengths. Learned helplessness is the giving up reaction, the quitting response that follows from the belief that whatever you do doesn't matter. At the age of 20 I went to London and won the Mr. Universe contest as the youngest Mr. Universe ever, and it was because I had a goal. I welcome and seek your ideas, but do not bring me small ideas, bring me big ideas to match our future. You have to remember something, everybody pities the weak, jealousy you have to earn. You've got to have a purpose no matter what you do in life. You can't get around the hard work, it doesn't matter who it is. Don't be afraid of failing because there is nothing wrong with failing. You have to fail in order to climb that ladder. I hate Plan B. It is very important to understand that we function better if there is no safety net, because plan B become a safety net. What is not okay, is when you fail you stay down. Whoever stays down is a loser. I was poor because I didn't have anything. I had no money, I had no things, we had no TV, 
we had no refrigerator, we had nothing as kids. But I was rich, because I had a dream. I don't like being comfortable. Once you get used to it, it's hard to give up. I'd rather stay hungry. I was always very intense. As a kid already I was very intense, and I was very hungry. I always wanted to be the best, I always to be number one, I always wanted to get to the top. I never believed in just getting by. If you are going to accomplish anything, you have to think big and shoot for the stars. You have to create a goal for yourself, whatever that may be, a short-term goal and long-term goal, you have to go after that. And if you do not see if, and if you do not believe it, who else will? Never think small. Think big. Have a vision, think big, ignore the naysayers, work your ass off, and give back and change the world. Because if not us, then who, if not now, then when? What divides one from a champion and one from not being a champion, if you can go through this pain barrier you may get to be a champion, if you can't go through, forget it. I could not wait to lift another 500 pounds in the squats, I could not wait to do another 1000 sit-ups. I could not wait to do bench press, more bench press and more curls until I couldn't move my arms anymore. Because I knew every rep got me closer to standing on that stage as a champion. As a matter of fact, when I lifted weights, it didn't really feel like I was lifting weights, I felt like I was lifting a trophy over my head each time I lifted and to have all those bodybuilders around me and thousands of people screaming. What we face may look insurmountable, but what I learned is that we are always stronger than we know. I don't walk away from things that I think are unfinished. You must see it. You must believe it. And then you must never stop working to make it happen. If I would have listened to the naysayers, would still be in the Austrian Alps yodeling. Dreams are for dreams, goals are for achievers. Always discover your vision, and the rest will follow.